by Missouri Southern head coach Denver Johnson, sophomore wide receiver Carson Day, and junior defensive lineman Trevor Plafkin. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach. Yeah, well, certainly a pleasure to be here again. Let, let me uh, give you a disclaimer up front that I haven't gone Hollywood on you here with, this, <laughs> with the sunglasses. I've had, uh, I've had three eye surgeries here over the summer, so um, I'm a uh, forced to wear these uh, glasses here. My eyes still pretty dark. I started to get a patch. I wanted to go go get a patch. I went to Walgreens. I just couldn't find a really nice looking pirate patch. But if I'd been able to, that's what I showed up in today. So um, again, don't don't accuse me of going uh, hot dog on you here with the with the glasses. I, I apologize for that. But we're excited uh, at Missouri Southern. Um, excited to get this season underway. I think this is kind of a um, turning point uh, season for us in our program. Um, you know, it'd be my third season, but in many ways, uh, talking with our coaches, I really feel like this is our second season. Um, you know, in our first go round, I was hired in April, didn't get the staff completely put together until July. And the first season really felt very much like uh, I've, I've compared it to being a substitute teacher, you know, looking over someone else's class, looking over someone else's, else's team. But we've had two opportunities to recruit now. Um, but we're going to be a very young team, but we're excited about that. Um, I think we have some talent. I think we've got some guys that are anxious to play, some guys coming out of red shirt. Um, I think the culture and the attitude of the team has uh, tremendously improved from when, from when I arrived. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a really tough league, and we, we understand that. There's no, no easy games in this league, but we're anxious for that, anxious to play. And um, if you look at our roster, it's going to look very much like a JV team. There's going to be very populated by, you know, True freshmen, uh, some redshirt freshmen, some true sophomores, and, and we have a you know couple older guys like this, and and we've added a, a handful of junior college guys here and there to give us a little bit of maturity, a little bit of uh, older guys uh, on the squad. But we're we're excited about our team. I'm excited about my coaching staff. I think we're probably stronger right now uh, in aggregate as a coaching staff uh, than at any time since I've been there. Well, I've got four new coaches. I lost two uh, coaches to head coaching jobs. Um, lost a coach that went with one of those guys uh, to, as a promotion uh, position there. Uh, we didn't make, make one change on our staff. But uh, in aggregate, I've got four new coaches and have moved some responsibilities around. And I've, I just feel a whole lot better about our coaching staff right now. So I'm excited for that. I'm really blessed to have two former head coaches on my staff, in, uh, Kenny Evans and Bill Blyle. And that just gives me a great, great deal of comfort with our staff. So. We're excited, ready to play. All right, we'll start with questions for players. Thank you. George Bilek, GKOD. Carson, I'll start with you. As Coach speaks about, you know, additions to the coaching staff, the new offensive coordinator this year, what has that been like for you as a wide receiver? Uh, he's a, his name is Dave Johnson. And yet I think he was previously at UCO. Uh, he's a very high-energy guy who I already liked from the start. Um, he came in kind of instilled a new system with uh, uh, great, a great, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word here, a great, hmm, he just came in really, he came in with a blunt attitude and was like, all right, this is what we're going to do, this is how we're going to run it, and I really liked that. He made sure every player knew what he was doing first day he came in, and so it's going to be a pretty simple system, going to have multiple personnels, two backs, one back, two tight ends, three, four wide receivers, so it's a lot of variations, and I'm really excited to get to it, and we've got a lot, a lot, of, young di a lot of young guys to plug into that. So. And as it's been an open competition at quarterback, what has this offseason been like for you? Um, it's Actually, we have three quarterbacks in competition right now, one, uh, uh, Cub, Braden Scott, um, TJ, and then Dante, and they're all fighting for the same position. But it's been fun, you know, to see them all battle it out. And uh, this off season been pretty fun, you know, see them kind of get along the com the camaraderie between all three of them. So I'm waiting to see in fall, fall camp, what's gonna, who the final guy is gonna be. But you know, until now, it's up for grabs. So, and how excited are you to finally start getting the pads on, go full pads with the team, and you know, get camp going into gear? Oh man, I'm I'm ready to do it right now if I could. But uh, obviously, we got to wait a little bit. I think the first few days are in helmets, so you know, I'm, it, it, summer's awesome. But you know, at the end of the day, I like to you know strap on the pads and hit somebody. So, and Trevor, for you, what has this off season been like as well? Um, it's been good um, as far as lifting weights and getting in, in shape. As far as running, um, really just working with the D line coach um, throughout the summer, working on technique and extra stuff, getting in extra stuff with the guys. And for a from a defensive standpoint, how much are you looking forward to opening up the season at home against Fort Hayes State? 
Um, anytime you can start off your season at home, it's definitely an advantage, I think. Um, you don't have to go on the road. You can stay at home. Um, you feel more comfortable at home, um, especially since we're a young team. Starting on the, on the at home will be will be big for us. Uh, Trevor, um, I know you guys both came at the same time, but Trevor, you've been playing three years under coach. So um, I just talk about kind of just that process um, of coach coming in, being um, you know new to this to this league, and, and kind of just going from there. Um, I feel like every year we the the culture is getting better um, under under Coach Johnson. Um, whenever I first came in, it was a lot of the older guys. We, not everybody was really bought in. I felt like, but now I feel like the whole team is buying into what they're trying to trying to uh, teach us, and I think everybody's buying in. Um, and, and you being there um, now, being kind of in that leadership role, uh, is there kind of that pressure to try to you know? Uh, come away with more wins this season? Yeah, there's definitely always pressure to win, and um, we haven't really been able to do that very well recently, but um, I feel like now we have the culture and the coaches now to really really take it to the next level. Uh, Coach, I apologize for being late, um, but I, I know every time I talk to you, you're always saying that you know this is the youngest team that you're ever going to have, and, and I know you said that this is kind of just going to be a JV roster, but right. um, do you think that this young group kind of just is going to come in with, with nothing to lose and, and try to kind of you know win you more games? Well, I think during the recruiting process, we sell the you know you sell the vision, you sell the the, uh, the dream, you you lay out the plan, and you know as I came and talked to President Marble about this job. You know, I had kind of a five-year plan that uh, to transform the culture and, and, you know, start building a program. You know, I inherited these two guys. These two guys were already signed, and I'm really fortunate to have those. I thought, you know, Carson, two years ago, was, you know, one of, maybe not the best player on our offensive football team, and uh, had a red shirt last year because of an injury. And, you know, Trevor, I think, is the epitome of, you know, that guy that's uh, – a little bit of that overachiever, you know, maybe um, uh, height and weight and stuff is not always fit the exact thing. But you know, is one of the better players on our on our football team. Just a tremendous effort guy. So, uh, but we are young, and what we have now is we have you know two young classes, and uh, we have a first year class and a second year class, and you know a year from now we'll have a first year class, a second year class, and a third year class, and then we'll get to those guys be fourth year guys. So. You know, this is the bottom. We've bottomed out here as far as how young we will be. And from this point forward, we should start to, you know, grow and mature and, you know, hope that it'll begin to manifest itself in wins on the, on the, uh, on the field as well. But, you know, these guys deserve success now. And um, I've said before, I will never coach a game nor ask our players to play a game that we don't fully intend to win. So we've got 11 of them scheduled. Uh, I bet they all show up. We'll show up. And uh, we'll play the season and get to the end, turn around, count them up, see how we did. Coach, with that being said, what are realistic expectations for year three? Well, you know, I, I, it's hard to put a number, you know, so we're going to win this many, we're going to win that. I just want us to play good. Uh, it's, that's really kind of my MO, I guess, or, you know, my mantra is just, I just want our football team to play good. Um, if you play good, you're going to win the games that you're supposed to, and every once in a while you'll win games you're not supposed to. Just, I just want us to play well. I want us to hustle. I want us to play hard. I want us to be fundamentally sound. I want us to be assignment correct. I want us to be physically and mentally tough and, and just go play good. And if you play good, everything else will eventually fall into place. And for you, Trevor, um, how do you feel like your role has changed here? And um, I guess what do you have to do as a leader now? Um, definitely being an older guy now, I, you definitely got to speak up now and take on more of a leadership role, vocal leadership. <laughs> I'm um, not just leading by example anymore, but um, definitely having to speak up now. And Trevor, I'll start with you. With the preseason poll coming out today, you guys are on the bottom half. Is that just added fuel to the fire? On yeah, top of it? it definitely is. Um, I just, it's more like a respect thing. We're always always preseason. We're at the bottom, and I mean it's understandable too. Um, but we're looking to change that this year. Same for you, Carson. Yes, absolutely. I mean, any team in this league is going to be respected because it's such a tough league. So, I mean, even though we're at the bottom, you know, everybody's got to work their way up through each game, you know, every day. You know, it doesn't go – you can't win every 12, all 12 games in one week. So, it's, you go week by week. So, Coach, what does it mean for you to hear that from your guys? You know, they don't have that big season mentality, that game by game, day by day mindset. Well, that's something we try to instill, but I think these guys have that um, just by their nature and 
I think that's what you got to do. You just you know, we talk about just winning every day, winning every practice, winning every drill, winning every rep. Just, just you know, build, 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 and grow and compete, and uh, and get there. I have a, a good friend that's a that's an explorer. He's uh, paddled in a kayak the length of the Nile, the Amazon, and the Bering Strait, and the whole deal. And I was asking him one time about the the Amazon River. I said, "How'd you do that?" He said, "One stroke at a time. Just one paddle stroke at a time." And you know that's kind of our philosophy. Just keep getting better. Just just keep stepping forward and keep improving. But we're anxious. I tell you, we we are. This is a results-oriented business, and uh, you know I don't like losing. I'm I'm sick of it, and uh, I know these guys don't either. And um, we're all pretty determined to to correct that. And saying how anxious you are, how excited are you for week one then, Thursday night under the lights? Well, again, as Trevor said, getting to open up at home is always something you're excited about. I like Thursday night openers at home. That's uh, kind of the opening day of college football in America, and uh, that's pretty special. College football um, has a special place in our, the fabric of our country, and you know that opening Thursday night ball game is kind of something special to be a part of on, on a nationwide scale, and certainly in you know, in Joplin that Thursday night, hopefully we'll have a great crowd and a lot of excitement for the season and a great ball game and hopefully come away with a big win. We have time for one more. One more question for Coach or Players. Trevor, uh, sorry, Carson, I'll start with you on this one. What does this team do? What is their strength going to be offensively just to close the gap on the top ranks of this uh, conference? Well, right now, I feel like our strength on offense will probably have to be our receiving core. We got a, uh, two new coaches. We got another guy who's named Colby Ellis. Uh, he's a, another high energy guy who I really love. He's instilled in us, you know, to be, per, you know, almost be per perfect in everything we do. Brought in two new uh, JUCO transfers who I'm really excited to get, you know, working with us. So I really think the strengths are wide receivers. Trevor, um, I, our, our depth is going to be. Um, pretty young so the guys that are playing behind the starters we're going to be really young so fall camp is going to be important for them to really learn and I feel like if we just execute what coach Evans is trying to trying to do with the defense I feel like we'll be all right coach well, I just kind of echo I think what both those guys said I think we we do we've added some length and speed to our receiving core I think our defense is uh, young and eager um, I think um, Maybe more coachable than at any time since I've been here. Uh, we're we're excited to get out on the field with these guys and you know see see how fast and how far we can can advance them.